Okay, what I could do now is I've got all this set up and this end of it. I've got RSSI in it, but it's not showing up, I don't know why. What's going on there? I have lost. That doesn't like being too close. That doesn't like being too close. What is that? Oh, it's really brushing against it. Sounds like a server. Anyway, <clears throat> this means true altitude, true altitude, 159 meters. This means 9 meters from home. This means, I don't know. But this changes to 500 if you get to a the field. This is altitude. This, I don't know what this is. Throttle, obviously that's throttle percentage. That's battery voltage. Hey, GPS coordinates. So this CR, I don't know what this means. It, it never changes. <coughs> that is the model. So obviously the heading away from home, that's degrees, that's what mode you're in, that's how long it's been running, that's your GPA, uh, that's your ground speed, not kilometers. there's your satellite number, four. and there's your satellite coordinates. No RSSI, it's plugged into a, um, let's take this off here. Plugged into a 9LR. I don't know if you're going to be able to see past the lights. No, you're not. Yeah. It's plugged into a 9LR. It's got RSSI out. It's on the S bus configuration. Um, it's in the ISOSD. But I cannot get an OSD. Now, it's a long range thing, I'm not, it should be alright for the Ford Copter, but I just wanted OSD because it doesn't come through um, Tyrannus. Put up Tyrannus telemetry on, and you get. No data. Yeah, it's probably better to see that. No data. So I don't know. So I've got everything else working except RSSI. So anybody who knows anything, a little bit of help, thanks. Bye.